Before getting tossed a life raft by the U.S. government, while on the brink of financial collapse due to the recession in 2008, the insurance giant American International Group, also known as AIG, was caught up in a more ignominious scandal. In 2005, the SEC filed charges against AIG and CEO Hank Greenberg for committing securities fraud. Perhaps on the tip of a whistleblower, the SEC began investigating questionable transactions that occurred under Greenberg's watch. The investigation discovered that in 2004 and 2005, AIG entered into sham reinsurance transactions with General Reinsurance Company to improperly add $500 million in phony loss reserves to its balance sheet. AIG also arranged a transaction with Capco Reinsurance Company to bury nearly $200 million of underwriting losses. The investigation also uncovered a fraudulent bid rigging scheme AIG had been operating for years. The SEC investigation prompted an internal audit by AIG and led to a restatement of prior accounting for the previous four years, wiping out $3.9 billion of earnings. AIG settled with SEC for $1.6 billion and paid out $840 million in settlements with pension funds in Louisiana and Ohio. In 2017, after over a decade of denials and trial delays, Hank Greenberg finally admitted to his role in the case and agreed to a settlement of $9 million.